Dodger Stadium. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go now. Our starter in this one, Yamamoto. We know he's one of the best in the game, doesn't make many mistakes, and if he's in a pitch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Here's Charlie Blackman. But why to kick the pitch? That oh, one misses. Now two and two. Two, two strikes. That's a little bit low. Kicks and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ezekiel Tovar. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And now two and two. Two two is down. Oh, nice stop at first. Over to second for one. Relay to first, double play. The 3 6 1 double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Jack swing, no appeal, and it's 2 and 1. That's Just three. missed. Three balls, one strike. Slapped foul. Back to work, 3-2 now. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. Back here in L.A., today's starting pitcher, Cal Quantrill. Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Mookie Betts will get us started. Quattro back to work. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And he hits a ground ball right side. Montero oh. takes it himself. One up, one down. Time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Quattrill ahead, one and two. Stays alive. Quattro back to work. Ball. Two balls, two strikes. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Good two-seam action right there, That's running good. away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. Ready. Two outs, base is empty. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 
Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. In the air right side. Puts the squeeze on that one and the inning is over. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Scoreless after one. Back here at Chavez Ravine. New inning getting started. And now it's Elias Diaz. Swing and a miss. One and the count one and two. two. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Chris Bryant now. I'll boo Chris Bryan, a kid who accomplished a lot right away getting to the big leagues. Former number two overall pick, won the rookie of the year, was named the MVP in 2016, winning a World Series with the Cubs over a hundred year drought. Man, you can't start your career much better than that. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Now, one of the people that really influenced Chris's career, especially at the plate, his dad, Mike, a former ninth-round pick of the Red Sox in 1980. He began working with Chris and his hitting every day starting when Chris was just five years old. One down, base is empty. Fights it off, he'll see another. No score here in the second. And the one-two misses to even the count. Two balls. Two strike. Tapped out in front of the plate. Throws to first. Oh. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Now it's Brendan Rogers. Batting six. The second baseman. Brendan. Here's a one-one. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that is that. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning. The batter now will be Will Smith. Next pitch inside, and now it's three and two. Oh, that two-seam fastball is a great pitch from a right-hander to a right-handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate, runs in on the hands. Righty delivers, and yeah, there's ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Cole's pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And now Teoscar Hernandez. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The 1-2. And there's a the ball. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And Chris behind the plate today, James Kingsley, known for being a little generous on the edges. And that one is lifted in the air. Blackman settles underneath it and makes the grab. And there's one away. And now it's Gavin Lux. Smith over at first with one away. Yeah. 
Next offering Good way ball. upstairs. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. And that one lifted in the air center field. Doyle drifts towards it, puts the squeeze on it. Out number two. Batting seven. The center field. And here's the rookie center fielder, Andy Pajes. Close, but called a ball. Three and one. And that's a strike. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three, two now. And ball four, two aboard. Well, interesting, he went with the off-speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So first and second with two outs. And here is Jason Hayward. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two left on. We play two full. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. And now, Elowry's Montero. The first baseman, number 44. Elowry's Montero. Is a 1-1. One -one. And it's through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Everything came together for him. There was nothing cheap the about the way he got that one through the infield. That was Brenton ripped. Caught out in Newell. front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. And it is two and one. Riding to the plate. He caught it behind his back. The throw. And he saved it first. First and second. No outs. Sean Bouchard digging in for the Rockies. Next pitch is outside. Charlie Blackman in the on-deck circle. First and second here, no outs. Maybe a two ball, five, four, out, three. And they turn the double play. I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5-4-3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Left-hand batter waits. Check swing, did he go? No. Ouch, that one drilled him. Oh, he throws it away. And this ball's going to wind up out of play. So a big-time costly mistake there. Well, you can't give him two errors on that play, but that's pretty much what it looked like. Tried to stay with it after the bobble, and he might have pulled it off with a good throw, but it's very easy to rush the throw when you don't field it cleanly. A lot of times guys don't have a good grip on it, and I think that was the case right there. Next to hit, Ezekiel Tovar. Two outs and one in scoring position.
And down on strikes. Good job at damage control right there. So they get one run on two base hits. Two errors and one man left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rockies one and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, here's Kike Hernandez. The third baseman, Kike Hernandez. That's hard hit in the line. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. A little bit high, maybe. And yeah, that's ball two. And that's a pitch early in this game. He needs called for a strike. Struggling with command issues. He's got to get a little help from the umpire. Three balls, one strike. The 3-1. There's a strike. Got it by him for the K. Now back. Here's Shohei Otani. Grounded out his first time up. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. Swings and misses. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. And welcome back. Out of the fourth, Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Number 24, Ryan McMahon. The 1-1. One -one. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. With all these Rockies showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the That's best the news yet for this offense. 2-2 Two -two now. Got him. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And here's the catcher, the catcher Elias Diaz. First Elias. time up was a pop out. Yeah. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the Run next ball. arm before Good an strike. offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And a pitch. That one 95 to finish him off. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Pitch is in the dirt, and it's two and two. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He'll do it himself. That's the third out. Rockies are down quietly. They lead it 1-0. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom four. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The 1-1. Freeman. All two. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The 2-1. And that's, that's downstairs three. and outside. Three balls, one strike. Fouled off. He was late. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Freeman will take his nope. base. Ball four. 
What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Bounce to the left side. And it gets by him. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. We just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. First and second, no outs. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. In the air to left center, Doyle. He ranges to his right. Drops into the glove. Rounder tags at second, and he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. The batter, number nine. Baseman, Two on, one out. Here's a speed threat. Gavin Lux. Glide out his first time. Got him! Huge strikeout there. And now the center fielder, Andy Pajes. He reached out a walk his first time. The pitch. And a count one and two. Corners are occupied with two down. Look out! Yep, and it hit him. Perfect. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner and I'm sure he's starting to feel the pressure right now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. Got him swinging for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So they strand three and leave him loaded. We played four. It's the Rockies one and the Dodgers nothing. Back here in L.A., top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Brendan Rodgers. Late with the swing there. Next offering down in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Pahez going back. Back some more. And that one is off the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Put a great swing on that pitch to deep center field, and we knew it was going to be close, but just not quite enough. And I'm sure a few of his teammates might be yelling weight room at him right now, but he should definitely feel good about that one. That misses, and the count is three and one. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The pitch. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his own. One away here in the fifth. Here's the center fielder, Brenton Doyle. Oh, for one, he hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Ground ball to the right side. Oh, nice play. And that's a great play for the out. Well, there it is, a little old school manufacturing of a run after that double. Ground out to get him over and another ground out to get him in. Nice job to get that RBI. Next to hit, Sean Bouchard. He hit into a double play his first time up. And one and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Next pitch misses outside. Three and two now. Three. Struck him out looking. 
So it's one run, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Rockies two and the Dodgers nothing. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now the third baseman, Enrique Hernandez. The third baseman. And a 1 1. Hernandez. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the catch for the out. So the batting order turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Mookie Betts. That one's in there. And yeah, the count one and two. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Anthony Molina preparing to come on if needed. Rogers, a left hander, also throwing. Next offering is fouled back. Next one misses, and the count's even at two. And now the count okay. filled up three and two. The 3 2 oh, is ball. off Take the back. outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Shohei Otani up to the dish. And now two and one. That one missed. Three balls. One and the right handers 3 1. Now a screamer into the outfield. Doyle brings it in with a nice run and grab. The first baseman, number five, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's over one. One of the things you may notice with Freddie Freeman, he always wears long sleeves. And you go back and remember his mom, Rosemary, she died of melanoma, skin cancer, back in 2000. And that's one of the ways that Freddie honors her every game. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. So the Dodgers leave one. They trail things here, 2-0. Welcome back. Now it's Charlie Blackman. The 1 1. That's down and in. Movement in the bullpen. Daniel Hudson looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Garcia warming up as well. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. The punch out there, now one away. It's almost like he's telling the guys in the bullpen, stand down, I got this. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Almost 100 pitches through five and a third's innings. I'm thinking he's probably done in the next couple of batters. On the ground to the left. On the run, sends it over to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Now battle. The third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. Two down, nobody on. Oh, that's out. And that's in for a strike. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, Boo, great pitchers like this. You may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't... Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. Three up, three down that time. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up.
It's the Rockies two and the Dodgers nothing. Bottom of the six. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Will Smith. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. You know, these Dodgers doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so far he's been really effective in this one. Two. And that's outside. You know, sometimes it just takes getting to the bullpen in order to be able to score runs, and that might be the case today. In the air out to center, Doyle has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. One down. Now batting. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Hit hard, should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two-bagger. He was all over that one. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that Josh Rogers gets the ball now. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. And up next for Los Angeles, Andy Pajes. 2-2 Two -two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. A strong showing from the Colorado bullpen. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Rockies 2 and the Dodgers nothing. Music make me smile. Some people call it rhythm and soul. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Daniel Hudson. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. That's in there. It's a ball and two strikes. And the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. That's inside. Oh, Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two two now. High fly ball out towards left field. Hernandez reaching back towards the wall. And it's gone! That one felt good, and they add to the lead. It's 3-0. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Chris Bryant digging in for the Rockies. Next pitch, not close, up high. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Blew it by him at 99. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. This one popped up. Freeman makes the catch, and there's one away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. And now, Brendan Rodgers. 
The pitch. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. Steps on first for the out. The first baseman, number 40. And now here's a Lowry's Montero. Montero. Flips the corner. And the count, one and two. Right-handed reliever gets a piece and stays alive. The one-two lifted in the air down the left side, and that's a fair ball. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost art for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. You'll take those bloop hits off the end of the bat all day long. It doesn't mean you put a great swing on it, but hitters deserve to get a lucky hit every now and then. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Swings and misses. One ball. And it's one two and two. He deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that'll do it. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3 0. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm, Anthony Molina. Here's Jason Hayward. Molina. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Enrique Hernandez now at the plate. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. Next pitch just misses. It's two and two. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over their shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Payoff pitch, and he walked him. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Back to the top of the lineup, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. He has, as they like to say, light tower power. Not a big guy, but a big swing. And thunder in that bat. Bouchard in position. Puts it away for the out. Tie block on the pitch out of the pen here. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. The other way, and it's just foul. That was close. Well, they say it's a game of inches, and that's a perfect example right there. Could have been a big swing in this game if it stayed fair. Down on strikes, he goes to out. Well, oh, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And that is cut on and missed. 
And that's strike two. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Just misses. And the count is two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. Will Smith up next for the Dodgers. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Here comes a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Three two. Bounce to the right. Montero. He steps on the bag. Inning over. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Rockies three and the Dodgers nothing. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Johan Ramirez. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And a pitch. Just missed. Bounce to third, and it stays fair. The bat. Just found the a way field. to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's what? really excellent bat control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. There's Chuck Nasty. Got him. And that's the first out. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Way outside. And that's ball two. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Michael Grove looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Flares it into the outfield. Hauls it in for the out. So in now for Colorado, Ryan McMahon. Hammered Pajas going back on this one. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. They get a leadoff single but leave him stranded. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Rockies three and the Dodgers nothing. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tyler Kinley. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Smith. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. The 1 1 is fouled off. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. At the belt and fires. And it's even up. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Jalen Beeks, the left hander, up and throwing. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And one gone. So the bullpen doing a nice job backing up the effort from their starter. Yeah, we've seen some pretty excellent pitching out of this staff so far. I mean, they've come in ready to do their job and get outs. They've been pretty tough to get to in this one. The 1-1. One -one. Foul ball there. Swinging. 
couldn't catch up to the heater. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. The pitch. And a ground ball to first. The flip to the pitcher covering. Play made. That ends the inning. Dodgers down in order. Still down 3 0. And welcome back. And now the catcher comes up to him. Elias Diaz. The 1 1 is fouled off. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Here's a 1-1. And a strike in there. And that's in the dirt. And down on strikes. Two gone. Brendan Rogers digging in for the Rockies. Throwing the ball well, and they need the scoreless inning in relief right here. Been doing a good job keeping them in striking distance. And now two and two. And the right-hander deals. Swings here and blasts one left field. Hernandez ranging back, looking up, slams into the wall and hangs on. Three up, three down for him there. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Rockies three and the Dodgers nothing. Left-hander out of the bullpen, Jalen Beeks. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Next offering misses, and the count is even two and two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The 2-2 two -two on the way. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. The wind and the pitch. Line drive, makes the grab, one away. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The next offering misses. Two and one. And he pumps it a strike. Pitching has been pretty dominant in this one, but you got to be careful. Not working with too big a lead. They could get right back in this ballgame if you're not careful. Two and two. And that's a little high. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. 
Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two and one now. Just missed. Mookie Betts waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And the 3 1. Ground ball left side. McMahon. Jump throw. And that'll do it. Well, this was a total team effort using six pitchers in this ballgame to get the win. Outstanding job of passing the baton. The next guy stepping up and getting it done. You got to give him a lot of credit because this is not easy to do. We'll see how it affects them over the next couple of days. A shutout in this one. 3 0 our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rockies, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left three men on base. For the Dodgers, no runs on only two hits, two errors. They left nine runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 38 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance, a sellout, 56,000. The Dodgers thank you for attending tonight's game. And as you leave Dodger Stadium, we remind you to please drive home safely.